Today in Garden Fork, I want to show you how to make this really easy chalkboard that's framed out with pallet wood. It was really simple, took me less than an hour. Ready? Here we go. Make, fix, grow, cook. Garden Fork. So a lot of times when we think about making our own little DIY chalkboard, usually you're thinking about chalkboard paint. And um, I'll link below to a homemade chalkboard paint uh, concoction that I've come up with. But it always means you have to let it dry, and sometimes you just want to do a quickie craft DIY project on the get-go, you know? <laughs> For those of you who are impatient... We have chalkboard... Well, it's like contact paper. It's like vinyl, um, isn't it? It's chalkboard film, it's called. Um, so I ordered some. I'm going to see how it works on a fun little chalkboard project, all right? All right, just so that we can write down your to-do list. <laughs> this is going to be a two foot by two foot chalkboard and it happens to be, I actually measured and the, the, the chalkboard film is two foot wide as well, so that works out well. This is a piece of what's called MDF, medium density fiber board. You can buy these pre-cut at your home improvement and lumber stores. Could you right? use cardboard? No, cardboard you, it, it would be flimsy and break. Oh, don't flimsy and broken. So you want you want something with some rigidity, and that is some rigidity there. It ain't going anywhere. <laughs> I got another knot on my head. But to make this look nice, we're gonna go to Eric's favorite kind of wood. Oh, can I guess? Yeah. Is it pallet wood? Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, yes, it is. Well, that's less pallet wood than we have in the yard now. Yeah. We'll put it in our home. So this is a couple of pallets that I broke down and we have a number of videos about breaking down pallets. I made this kind of homemade breaker bar that works pretty nicely. But for these I used a reciprocating saw to just saw off and the nail heads are intact in here. Yeah. And I kind of like that for projects like this. You know if it has scuff marks that's okay with me. You mean you like the look? I like the look, yeah. It doesn't have to be this beautifully smooth piece of wood to frame out our chalkboard. Good thing. Also, you've got here a couple different kinds of pattern. You know, this this is from the machine that cuts the wood down. This kind of saw cut. This is, looks a little different. This one's a yellower color. Except for the dirt. This one is nice and faded. You know, you have different looks. And then you have even wider pieces here. So I, I picked out a couple pieces that I like. I picked out four pieces that I like, and we're gonna cut them down to make a frame to go around our chalkboard, all right? So basically, I'm gonna be, my trim is gonna be like this, and then two pieces go like this, and then one more piece will fit in between those two like that and that'll be kind of nice so i'm just going to measure out those pieces and we'll cut them all right all right so that's 24. Okay. like it's supposed to be Be sure when you're cutting not to cut through the nail heads if you're leaving the nail heads in for style here. But let's just dry fit this and see if my measuring paid off. So that's always a question with Eric, you know. So this will be our frame and then our chalkboard will be in here. But there's one thing I want to do before we start assembling this. Um, we have to think about the finish of the wood and we have to take care of the outside edge. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if this is going to be your chalkboard, you could think about what kind of finish, if any kind of finish you want on the wood. Do you want a matte black kind of finish or a kind of oak polyurethane finish? You know that. Think about that. For this one, we're going to go with the flat black because it's quick. Um, but you can also do, this is a stain that has a stain and polyurethane in one. And it goes on really quick. 
They even sell it in spray cans now, I just saw at the store. Pretty cool, huh? But for this, I'm just gonna use flat black and we're gonna coat our wood. But something to think about is the edge of your chalkboard is gonna look like this. So we wanna paint the edge of the backboard here. To make it match. Before we put the film on and the wood on. Good idea. How long does that take to dry? Seconds. This is a flat black. It dries really fast. B with the painted black edge and we're gonna lay on the chalkboard film sharp utility knife with a new blade okay the beauty of this is it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna have wood trim all around it so the edges can be kind of garden forky you know everything is we're done is better than perfect yeah. this is why you have a sharp new blade in your utility knife. You want some sort of a straight edge to smooth this out. So just re reveal just the edge. Is it sticking? Yeah, you just uh, you want to lay this down without any folds in it and that's the tricky part. So if you have a brad nailer, this is a perfect project for that. A link in the show notes, uh, one I suggest to buy. You might have to click the read more button. Or a cordless drill, this is my favorite kind, with what's called a flip bit. Makes your life very easy. Okay, a couple screws, we're ready to go. Nice, huh? Yeah. Just taking some pallet wood and a piece of MDF wood, chalkboard film. I'll link below to uh, the kind of film. There's a couple different kinds, but uh, let's see if this works. All right. All right. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> For Charlie Pup, we always have to throw the ball. beautiful thing. It is. <laughs> so if you want to watch more of this crazy garden fork show, there should be some videos floating around here to click on. Uh, in the text below the video is a whole bunch of information about my world. We did this in less than an hour. Oh, way less than an hour. Boom, done, you're out. Pretty cool, huh? Let me know your thoughts. You have some suggestions or questions in the comments below. Nice thoughts. Make it a great day. Bye.